pretty good, man. I tell you, I love his singing, but a lot of his songs, the words, too much cussing and stuff. Ah, just sit back and enjoy it, Frankie. It's okay. All right, all right, you got it, man. He's pretty good, though. say that oh, Mitch that was a really good way of uh, ending the last chance summer dance man how did you get Bruno Mars man well as they say my son the Lord works in mysterious ways <laughs> yeah he sure does man I'm, I feel so pure and so good that I feel like a new man you really you really helped me out a lot man it's almost like I'm a totally different person well, my boy, you needed the counseling, you needed the help, and you reached out. And uh, <clears throat> good old Daddy Mitch is always going to be here for you, my son. Yeah, man, totally. <sighs> Hey, yeah, yeah, thanks for uh, letting me let me over here, man. I'm sorry if I'm interrupting the family. Oh no, no, you're you're not interrupting. Uh, in fact, I'm glad that we called a family meeting because uh, you've got me concerned about what's going on with our cousin. Well, my best friend Frankie, let's just say he's totally different, man. He's uh, it's almost like a totally different dude altogether. I mean, even I don't know, he acts so different. Well, go on, explain. Well, as you know, he's been at New Day. And he's been seeking uh, to find himself, and uh, maybe it was a mistake for me to even have an intervention. Uh, but uh, with this after this intervention, when he had these drinking problems and everything, he uh, he decided to go to New Day and just uh, live there, pretty much. What? What do you mean, live there? He's living at New Day, dude. He uh, he packed all his bags, man. You mean he's no longer in this house? Exactly, Ned. He's no longer here. I. Cook checked with Cook, I checked with Alice, and he's no longer here. Oh, what the hell is going on with this with this Frank? I know Frankie's always uh, tutored his own home, but come on, man. No, listen, Ned. He renounced the Quartermain name. He's no longer a Quartermain. He went back to his old name, moving back in the news in Fayetteville, North Carolina. You mean he's calling himself Frankie Johnson? Exactly. Huh. Huh. Backwards. I changed my name from Ashton to Quartermain, and he changed his name from Quartermain back to Johnson. What the hell is the matter with him? I don't know, but he's not the same, and get this, guys. He took all of his assets, other than the casino, and gave it all away. What, what, what do you mean, just gave it all away? He no longer has any of his holdings. He has, no longer has any of his, uh, of his shares, of Quartermain shares. He... Dude, he gave him the new he gave him the new day. New day? That son of a bitch. I can't believe Mitch Lawrence. Yeah, he's a freaking bastard. I don't see you just put up with that, Ned. That's that's not right. You're damn right it's not right. Uh, you got to be kidding me. He's left his assets and all of his holdings and his shares in the hands of that lunatic? Wait, 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 wait. Come down, everybody. Oh, wait. Uh, it, it, something just doesn't seem right. It it, it, it just doesn't seem right. It, Uncle Frankie would, would never would never do anything like that to turn family. I, I know he wouldn't. Michael, I know that. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the, the, that's the main problem. I don't even know he, if he knows what he's doing. I'm thinking maybe that son of a bitch brainwashed him. Well, that, that would be the way it would sound because it just doesn't sound like Uncle Frankie. That son of a bitch, Mitch Lawrence, I'm going to head right over to New Day right now. I'm going to claim what's ours. I'm going to be damned if I'm going to let that bastard go ahead and take over. Uh, the Quartermains. He, he's got... Uh, calm down, Ned. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, Ned, listen. Ned, he... 
I, I doubt that Mitch is going to try to take over the quarter He's just He just donated all his assets to New Day, the business. It was a business move. Yeah, I think so. It, it just still doesn't seem right. You're damn right it's not right. Something's got to be done. Well, I'm going to take my ass over there right now to New Day, and I'm going to give Mitch Lawrence a piece of my mind. He's not going to get any of this of quarter main legacy, and he doesn't deserve it, and it won't happen, not on my watch. I don't, don't know what I should do. I just, first I get ill, and first I get sick, and then I cause pain to you, Sonny, and, and, and now, uh, if it wasn't for me, Jason wouldn't even be in this position, wouldn't even be in the hospital. You, you, you can't, you can't think like that. You can't, Think like that, there. You just, you just leave that alone. Just you get that out of your mind, Sam. I, I, I can't. I can't. Sonny's right. You gotta stop. You have to be strong for Jason. You have to be strong for Jason because we all need him. We, we can't lose him. You're damn right. We can't lose him. And I, if anybody's fault, it's my fault. But if I would have never like made him come down to the meeting, none of this would have happened. You, you can't blame yourself, Sonny. No, you're right. You can't blame yourself, Sonny. This is all my fault. I, what's wrong with me? I used to be the strong one. I used to be the one that was like, just trust Jason and no matter what, it, it would be okay. And I had to go down there to the meeting and I ruined it. And because of me, I got him shot. Stop it, Sam. It's not your fault. Listen, listen, listen. Everybody just stop blaming each other. Stop blaming the, each, yourselves. This is nobody's fault. This is nobody's fault but the person that, that shot Jason. We need right now just to be just to be able to stick together and just be able to pray and be there for him. And, and when he comes out, he's gonna come out. He's he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. I hope so, Carly. I I can't, I can't lose Jason again. I just I can't. Don't worry, Sam. It's it's gonna be fine. Okay, you're not gonna lose Jason. I promise you. Yeah, come on in. Hey, Doc. David, hey, how are you, man? It's uh, good to see you. What what brings you by? Uh, I was just wondering if I could pick your brain for a little bit. Um, I'm investigating something that's uh, heavy on my mind and very important. Yeah, sure. Um, well, you promised me this. It's not police business, but uh, it is basically, uh, can we keep keep it confidential by all means what is it it's about a friend of mine who seems to have changed quite a bit drastically in the last month or so that's to the point I don't recognize him anymore he's uh he's totally different I mean the way he acts the way he looks the way he talks it's just his whole demeanor is different oh and how so I don't know he uh this friend. Uh, wait a minute, David. If you want me to be confidential, please tell me everything. Are we, are we talking about Frankie? Yeah, we're we're talking about Frankie. H have you spoken with Frankie at all lately? And every time I try to reach out to Frankie, he, he he shuts me off. He doesn't want anything to do with me. And even though I'm his his family's counselor, and he doesn't want to talk. Well, that's the problem. He no longer considers himself family. From the Quartermains. What do you mean? He renounced his name. He now is Frankie Johnson. He no longer wants anything to do with the Quartermains, and he's donated, now not sold, not sold, but donated about 95% of his assets and basically everything except the casino, Bella, to, to New Day. You mean to tell me Frankie just went ahead and wrote everything off to Mitch Lawrence? That's just exactly right. I don't understand. So what I'm asking you, Doc, if you could give me an honest answer. Would a person in their right mind do something like that, like out of the blue, if they're, I mean, can somebody just change their spots that fast, like overnight, basically, just be a totally different person? Well, very rare cases, in my professional opinion, somebody can just change into a different person unless they have split personality, but I don't see Frankie having a split personality. I don't either, so what would you think the alternative is? It's quite possible that maybe he was coerced. <sighs> coerced. That's what I'm afraid of. You're thinking Mitch Lawrence? Yeah, exactly. You think maybe 
Mitch brainwashed Frankie to kind of get him to do what he wanted to do? Well, you know the history of Mitch Lawrence, right? Well, he's turned his life around. He's changed. I mean, evidently. Yeah, but deep down in that rotten soul, there's still Mitch Lawrence in there, man. I'm telling you. I've tried to be civil with him. Well, David, this is what you got to do. You need to continue to be civil. Don't let him know you're on to him. And investigate it and find out. But I guarantee you, I'm thinking that's what's happening. Doc, you've been a lifesaver, dude. I appreciate it. Hey, listen. If there's ever a chance that I can somehow get him to see you, is there any way maybe we can put him in some sort of hypnosis or some kind of meeting or something? Believe me, if I see Frankie up down the street somewhere, maybe at Perk's Coffee or Kelly's or somewhere, and there's no one around, I'll do it for you. I'll put him in a hypnotic state you won't even, even know he's in, just so we can get to the truth. Oh, man, I appreciate that so much. Thanks. It, and I can't guarantee results, David, but I'll do my best, man. All right, Doc, I appreciate it. Thanks, man. <coughs> Come in. Mitch. <laughs> ah, I was wondering when one of the Quartermains was going to come banging down my door. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have all of them headed over. But then again, most of them are dead. <laughs> you bastard. I, I digress. <clears throat> what can I do for you, Ned? You know damn well what you can do for me and my family you're taking the Quartermain name, and you're ruining it. And you're, you're putting it in the mud, and I demand that you give back the assets and everything that Frankie gave you, and I demand that you give back the shares to us. <laughs> now, why would I do that? <laughs> because it's ours, it's not New Days. You have your own entities. You don't need Quartermain money. Well, it's just so you know, Frankie did this willingly, and he's a grown man, Ned. He's a grown man, and you probably brainwashed. I did no such thing. He simply just needed to find his way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you laugh like you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm laughing because you're being ridiculous. I, in no way, made Frankie give up all of his fortune to New Day. <laughs> he did that on his own. Well, you bastard. I should just punch you right now. And if you do, I will arrest you for assault. <laughs> that would not look good. A quartermain beating, a <clears throat> beating up a helpless, wonderful public figure such as myself. <laughs> you son of a bitch, Mitch. You know that? You son of a bitch. And let me tell you, this is not over. You're going to give back you're going to give back all the assets to the Quartermains if it's the last thing I do. Well, it just may be the last thing you do. <laughs> Is that a threat? It's not a threat. All I'm saying, Ned, <clears throat> it'll be a cold day in hell before you get any of New Day's money. <laughs> That's Quartermain assets. Quartermains, not New Day's. It's now New Day's. <laughs> You son of a bitch.